it's actually been a long time since I've last recorded anything. It's now April... One sec. It's April 13th. And a lot of things have happened since then, but I don't know what. None of that matters. Actually, the reason I'm making this video right now is because I went shopping. One second. Okay. <laughs> I had to change into a different shirt. But, um... I'm a bit of an impulsive spender. Let me just show you. Okay, it looks a lot worse in person, but this whole area is just so messy. So I went to like three different stores. I also did a lot of shopping online and none of that has come yet. So I decided that I'm just gonna do it by store. Holy crap. Okay. Ugh. This is everything from the first store. Oh wait, you can't even, there's a suitcase that's also filled with stuff back here. The thing about this store is that it was a church fundraiser thing, so basically a whole bunch of people donated stuff for the church to sell, and everything here costed either $3 or less. There's a table full of books for 25 cents each. So there's four bags here. Okay, I'm gonna start with this suitcase since I feel like that's easiest. I have stuffed animals. I'm a child. I took the suitcase because where else are you gonna get a free suitcase? I found these white shirts. And I was like, cool, I can tie-dye those, so I took them all. A forewarning, a lot of stuff that I took, I don't really know why I took it. I just took it because I wanted to in the moment. I'm kind of impulsive. Like, for example, I took this Discount Tire jacket. Like, it belonged to somebody who worked at Discount Tire. Somebody named Calvin. Thanks, Calvin. Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of pajama shirts and stuff. I got them from the men's bin. But yeah, I got a whole bunch of shirts like this. They're just plain, different colored. Men have super comfy clothing, and it's not fair, honestly. Yeah, that's all that was in the suitcase. Okay, moving on. This bag. So I actually, I don't remember half of the things I got, so this is just as surprising to me as it is to you. These really cute boots. They're like lace up and you know, they're like a little bit high heeled. I thought they were so cute and they were free, so why not? And then, oh yeah, I took this tote bag. This was just convenient to put stuff inside of, so. Um, fuzzy pants. I won't be wearing those till fall because there's no way I'm gonna be wearing that in over 90 degrees. And then there's this pair of heels. They're more dressy. I could wear them to church and stuff like that. And then I got these. Birkenstock style standals and um, this shirt that Reagan said would look cute on me but I haven't tried it on yet so I honestly have no idea. And then I got one, two, three, four, five, six books. Yay. Okay. So there's a zip up jacket. I forgot that I got this and now I'm excited to wear it. It's the Champion brand that I don't really know much about but I see it a lot. There is this pair of jeans. They looked a bit big, but they have this tie thing around the waist. So, I don't know, I just felt like they would be cute. And then I got these really cute pants, or shorts, I mean. Comfy. Another green shirt, because green is my favorite color and it looks really good on me. It looks gray on camera, but it's like olive green. And then I got, what is this? Oh wait, this is cute. It's like a, it's a dress. I forgot I got this. It's like button up and it's kind of cinched at the waist and super like light and like flowy. And then there's a pair of like kind of exercise shorts, but I really like these kind of shorts because they're so comfy. I don't really exercise. I just wear them around the house. Okay, I've got a pair of these white tennies. They kind of look like those one shoes that everybody's freaking out over. I forgot what they're called. They looked cute and I tried them on and they were super comfy, so I will be wearing these. And then I got... These are cute. Honestly, I'm just reacting to these things like a second time. These are so cute. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to wear them. They're just boots, but they're cute. I'm excited. All right, and then, oh, I got a sloth mug. Oh my gosh. Everybody who knows me knows that I have an unhealthy obsession with mugs. At least I know that when I move out, I'll have enough cups. And then, oh, there's more books. One, two, three, four, five. Six books, but you probably don't care about that, so whatever. This one I'm kind of excited to read. It's about the Holocaust, about two boys who were affected by it. Oh gosh. Ah! Stop! Things are falling. 
I was wearing this hoodie before at the beginning of this video, but I changed out of it because I wanted to include it. But I got it from the men's box, of course, because men hoodies are way better. Like, they're bigger and they're comfier and they're way better quality for some reason. But yeah, it's just um, Cabela's hoodie. Like, there's nothing special about it. It's blue and black, but it's so comfy. It's super thick. Okay. And then I have this cactus jar. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's a cactus, so why wouldn't I get that? This, this is just a huge piece of fabric. I have a sewing machine and I've been wanting to make a cloak. I just don't know how yet and I've been buying fabric for it, even though it might never happen. I plan to do it eventually. <clears throat> okay, this is the last bag from this store. So the first thing, so I got a tea set. It's, you know, a wider cup, shorter. That makes sense. English. There's five cups, and there's the actual teapot with the lid. The lid is cracked, or it was, and then someone glued it back together, whoever had it before. Isn't that cool? Like, and then it has a whole bucket load of plates, like ten of these plates, and then there's a bowl. Look at the tag. Oh my gosh. The price tag. The entire set was $3. And then there's this huge chunky blanket that I'm not going to pull out of the bag. I don't feel like it. Should I? Okay, I'll pull it out a little bit. It looks like this. It's three different colors. Black, blue, and white. And it's like one of those chunky knitted blankets. And it's huge. And then that's everything. Ooh. Okay. That's everything from that store. So I'm going to hurry up and go grab stuff from the second store that I went to. Oh my gosh, I almost just fell and dropped my tea set. <laughs> Cute. Two. Oh my gosh. Ow. Frick. <gasps> Anyways, the next store I went to was Ross. And when I was shopping there, there was this really creepy guy. And me and my friends had to have security walk us back to my truck. Or my dad's truck. Anyways, first thing... A lace bra, very, very soft and comfy. And then I got this super, super comfy shirt. And it's like a peachy yellow color or orange, yellow, orange. I don't really know how to explain things, but look how stretchy. I've already worn this twice. And then I actually completely forgot that I got this and now I wanna wear it. <laughs> it's just like a really light blue shirt. It's one of those puffy sleeve ones. What is going on? It's a pink bra, and it's like, longer. This does not actually unbutton, that's just for looks. Um, yeah. Um, I think, is that it? That most certainly is not it. I sort of bought a ball gown. <laughs> it looks like old fashioned. It's like expensive material, I feel like. I don't know anything about that. But it said the comparable price was $108, and it was only $50. Only. Why did I spend $50 on a dress? I don't know. Me and my friends, we all bought these kinds of dresses, like super fancy, and then we went to Chipotle. We were gonna do that trend where you dress up super formally and then go to a really casual restaurant, like a fast food place, but none of them were open because it was like 10 o'clock at night. So we went to Chipotle, and we said that we were coming from a a bachelorette party <laughs> and then after Chipotle we went to Dutch Bros and after Dutch Bros we went to Walmart so that was pretty interesting this was the dress that one of my friends wore that was her formal dress she didn't want to take it back to her home state so she just let me have it and I was like awesome now I have two dresses I might just wear them around the house for absolutely no reason because why not okay last store Plato's Closet. This, I think, was the smallest haul. The least significant, let's just say. I went shopping with my sister, Shania. I got this there. It's a jumper, romper, jump, whatever thing. It's really cute, and I can't wait to wear this when it gets hotter. Then I got skirts. I have not owned a skirt since I was in, like, seventh grade. I'm now a sophomore, for reference. Look at this. This is so cute. And I also got this one. And I did wear this one because it was perfect for Easter Sunday. So I wore this to church with a white shirt and dude, this looks so good on me. I did not expect it. And then I have a third skirt. It's kind of scandy because it's like a little bit short. 
But I got it anyway because I really liked it. And so Shania was like, you're not going to wear that. Why would I buy something I wouldn't wear? Yeah, I can't wait to wear this. It's also kind of stretchy. It's like, I don't know how to explain that, but it's like black crisscrosses, whatever. I got these shoes because I actually really needed shoes. I have absolutely no shoes. They're just pink slip-on kind of things, kind of like Vans, but... And then I got these. They are actually so cute. I've never owned any shoes like this before, so I'm kind of excited to see how they look. And then I also got this necklace. It's a little songbird, and I got it because it reminded me of a crow. So, not only did I not finish the haul that I started, like, weeks ago, I got new clothes. So, I guess there's more to show you. How long is this video gonna be, I swear? Sorry, I just had a venti cold brew with espresso in it. <laughs> That's my new text tone. So, um, I'm very hyped. Amper. What? <laughs> I was trying to say amps and hyper at the same time. So, amper. Ah! Drop my drink. I'm filming this video the same day that I'm filming this juice cleanse video. I don't know which one's going up first, so. Oh my gosh, I didn't even mention my haircut. Yeah, I just impulsively cut a lot of it off because it was like dead, so. It looks kind of bad right now because I need to take a shower, but anyways, there are four separate stores that I have to show to you now. I went to Ross again. I meant to go there to get new work jeans and like a plain black hoodie that I could wear to work, but I didn't end up finding any of that and I found all this instead, so. <laughs> so I got these pink pants. They have like this seatbelt looking buckle. <laughs> I think they're really cute. I don't know how to describe them, but they remind me of like military jeans. I don't know what they're called, but um, these are really cute and they go super well with the shirt that I got. I've worn them a couple times, but I think Casey actually looks better in them because pink suits her more. It's not really my color. And then the next pair of jeans I got are these ones. They're super high-waisted and they're like, not baggy, but they're like, they're not tight, you know? Oh my gosh, the pockets are so deep, I can fit my whole hand in them. Um, I was wearing these and my mom's like, those jeans look like the, ki the kind that I wore when I was a teenager. And I was like, they're cute, right? And she was like, sure. And then this is the shirt that looks good with those pink pants. It's really scandy, I'll admit that, but it's actually so cute. Next, I got this tank top. It's really short, but it's stretchy, so I have worn it like as an outfit with these blue jeans. <coughs> Did I get that jacket? I think I, I'm forgetting some stuff, but yeah. Next, I got this tank top. It's like a peachy orangish color. It's really similar to the other one that I got, except that one was more orange, like it was more vibrant. It gets really hot here in the summer, so these kind of shirts are great for chilling in and not dying of heat stroke. Next, there's this cropped hoodie with no sleeves. <laughs> you can't really see it that well because it's all black, but it goes well with pretty much anything. And then I got this, just this plain zip-up jacket. I have like so many hoodies, but not a single zip-up, so I got this one plus the blue one from that church sale. This one's so soft. It is literally, I could sleep in this if it wasn't for the zipper. And I got it in extra large, so it's like baggy and loose too. I get everything in extra large. If it's not baggy, I don't want it. That's everything from Ross. On to the next. I went to Flagstaff not too long ago, and there's this store that, it was so cool. So there's this mall. It's more like a small shopping center. And um, it's got like a downstairs basement area. There's this whole store. I think it was just called The Basement. I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. So I got these sweatpants. They're high-waisted sweatpants. Really high-waisted. They go up to like my waist. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and these are probably my new favorite pair of sweatpants. And then from that same store, I also bought this plain hoodie. It's like cropped, but it's cinched at the waist. Yeah, it's super comfy. And I need to wash this too because I went to the gym the other day and it's very sweaty. The third store I went to was Old Navy and I got three things from there, but one of them was too big and I have to return it, so. I got this shirt, also for working out. It says, choose happy. Yeah, it's just plain white and it's super flowy, as you can tell. And then I got these really nice pair of joggers. Hold on, they're inside out. They're like leggings, but they're not like skin tight, but they're high-waisted. And dude, they've got pockets. All right, and now I have a few things from Etsy. I think it's just two. 
I love Etsy so much. I'm, oh, dang it, I just dropped the entire pile on the ground. So the first thing, oh my gosh, I literally love this so much. Okay, first of all, dis, it's not really a disclaimer, but like a little warning. If you're not into anime, you probably won't understand this, but if you judge me, you can leave. Anyways, so warm and like soft. I'll show you the next item that I got from Etsy. I'm mad because I can't wear it because it's summer and I would die of heat stroke, but it's, the detailing is actually amazing. Like, it's such good quality for the price that it was at. Hi Dylan, what are you doing? No, 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 don't, do no, stop. Get off my, get off my clothes, get off. Dog, don't whimper like that. One second, I have to go comfort my dog. Dude, I completely forgot that I had this. Look, my friend got me a Draco Malfoy case for Christmas or my birthday, I can't remember which. It's so weird because I don't, I don't think I have any clothing items that are like my size. My size is like a medium, but I always get larges or extra larges so that they're like oversized, you know? This video is already 33 minutes long. I'm gonna have fun editing this. Anyways, clearly I spend way too much money. That's, yeah, that's all. So, ah, ah, I just dropped my phone on my knee. But yeah, finally, that's everything. Hope you enjoyed this, like, super messy video. I honestly don't know what was going on half the time. Anyways, I'm gonna go before it ends up being way too long. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Bye.